Okay, if you haven't got this scene open already with your animation box, or you haven't created the animation of the box, then um, I highly recommend that you do so before you move on to this part of the um, session. Okay, so load up your box jump that you created and you should have your box, it should look roughly like my one. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. Okay, what we're gonna do is play around with the non-linear animation editor. Now, what is a non-linear animation editor in Blender? But basically, it's a way of um, scaling your animations, uh, repeating your animations, ping-ponging your animations, mirroring them, etc. I guess the best way is um, just to explain the non-linear animation editor is by showing you the non-linear animation editor. Okay, let's set up this scene so it plays nicely with the non-linear animation um, stack. So the way we do that is very simple. First of all, click on this uh, icon here and then um, go to Dope Sheet if you're not in the Dope Sheet section already. And then what we're gonna do now is click on Dope Sheet and then scroll up to Action Editor. Click on Action Editor. And then what we're gonna do is give this animation an actual name. So click on here. Your one might be, cute. it should be called Cube Action. It might be called something else, but Let's just change it to a jump box. Okay, so you should have a jump box now. So what we're gonna do is push this um, animation down into that non-linear animation stack by clicking push down, and then that should disappear. Then the next thing we're gonna do is click on this icon here, and then we're gonna go into the non-linear animation. Actually, before we actually go into the non-linear animation, let's increase the number of frames we've got and how we can do that is very simple let's just go to um, the timeline and then just go what it's got start 1 to 70 let's give call it 1 to 500 and then what we're going to do now is we're going to go down into the nonlinear animation stack by sliding over to here nonlinear animation okay so you see it should look something like this now this is the non-linear animation. So this icon here, we can bring out the non-linear animation tab here by clicking that icon here. Okay, there's a number of things we can do with this non-linear animation stack. We can duplicate the animation stack by clicking Shift and D. And now we've got two animations. So that's jumping backwards and forward. And it's basically jumping twice. We can Again, copy it again. We can have as many animations as we want on this stack. So it's repeating three times now. Let's delete that. We can also, for example, um, so this would be, using non nonlinear animation stack is pretty useful if you wanted to create, say, walk cycles, etc., things like that. Um, I'm gonna be doing a, a proper intensive animation tutorial. So I'll look out for that on, on my um, art station um, website okay um, so say for example a number of things we can do with the nonlinear animation so say for example we wanted to um, reverse the animation click on reverse and now when we play it it will reverse and now um, say for example we wanted to scale the animation we can then scale it 300 frames once start frame one end frame 300 and now slowed it down and scaled it so there's a number of